Well, I'm going to have to ask for four volunteers today. This is supposed to be the children's address, but there's no children here. So those who are very young at heart or younger in years are going to have to come out and be a wee volunteer for me today. So let's see. Um, Tracy, would you like to come out and be a volunteer? Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Just realised I was going to ask Mary as well, but I don't know whether that's the right thing to do, to be honest. Oh, just come out anyway. <laughs> Ross, you come out too. And I'm going to go for somebody else this time. Who will I have? Anna, you come out. There we go. A wide range of ages here. Now, it's all right. There's nothing. You're not going to be asked to do anything horrible or anything like that. I'm only going to ask you a couple of questions. It's nothing to worry about. And your answers might be slightly different to each one, okay? So the first question I'm going to ask you is, what do you do for work? I don't. You don't. Do you, you quite enjoy not working? I love it. Good. So do I. <laughs> Tracy, what do you do? Teach. Tracy teaches. And do you enjoy it? To an extent. To an extent. <laughs> that's a truthful answer, though. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear the truth. What about you, Mary? I'm a teacher too. Mary's a teacher too. And do you enjoy it? Yes. You love it. You're not as old as Tracy, <laughs> are you? <laughs> Ross, what, what do you do for work? I'm a civil servant. He's a civil servant. I know what that next answer is going to be then. Do you enjoy your work? No. no. <laughs> I used to be a civil servant too, so that's how I knew. No, that's lovely. That's all I wanted to find out. That was it. That's it. So thank you very much for volunteering. Now, everybody's done some kind of work at some time in their life. And sometimes we enjoy it and sometimes we don't. But we all have to go out to work to be able to live. Sometimes, though, when you're young and, well, Cara's on the cusp of not being young anymore. You're a teenager now. But when you're young, I know from my grandson, he, well, he tries to make his bed and he takes his dirty plates through and different things like that. So that's him helping and trying to help in the house. And then sometimes, I know years ago, especially with my mother, uh, when I was young, my mum didn't work because in those days, uh, women who had children didn't tend to work. They, they worked in the house, and that was their job, like doing the housework, making the dinners and all the rest of it. But here's a question. What work does God want us to do? Any, any idea? No, nobody's got any idea. Oh, well, I'm going to tell you. First of all, we're going to be hearing more about this in the main address, actually. But over 2,000 years ago, um, People asked Jesus what work God wanted them to do. This was after the feeding of the 5,000. And wait to hear what Jesus said. It's maybe not what we expected to hear. But Jesus said, the work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. The work of God is this, to believe in the one he has sent. In other words, Put your faith in Jesus. Is that quite surprising? Did you maybe think we're going to be told to go out and evangelize or to try and bring people in to become Christian? The main work that God wants us to do is to believe in Jesus. Now, once we believe in Jesus, things change because then we want to work for God. We want to go out and spread the good news. But it's not just by doing good deeds that pleases God. You have to believe in Jesus as well. Now, once we choose to put our faith in Jesus, the most important work we can do, and it is the most important work that we can do, faith in Jesus pleases God. And we need to remember that because... Once we're in a relationship with Jesus, he will then send us out to do the good deeds that we need to do for him. So today, 
we've talked a wee bit about work and getting things done. But remember, according to Jesus, the work of God is to believe in the one he has sent. I pray that you have put your faith in him. It's the only thing that's worth doing.